Finir, welcome to our home. May you find- That is an image I will fix in my mind what Someone there? Hmm. Scraps and run. Uh, heart of stone. And the stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. This throne of Mark and Manure? I suppose that makes you the Lord of Shitsby. How dare you insult the brave and valorous soldiers of... Of Shitsby, yes. I know your type. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! Lump or two. We will fight for this mighty kingdom, tooth and nail. Don't let this one escape. No one defiles this sacred throne and goes unpunished. Strange art. Fools in the thrall of an absent king. Pitiful.
I feel great. Show me.
Best raise my hood here. So this is Humboldt's safe haven. Today, tomorrow, the kingdom of Lindsay will rise again, as free as the wind. Unwald, who is this stranger? Eivor, come, sit. Bread and ale, please, alewife. I have been discussing my delicate situation with Alvgar here. Lord. He is a nobleman like me, one of Lincolnshire's sturdy thanes. Hunvold's idea of sturdy is a mug of ale that won't tip over. Alvgar has pledged his loyalty to my family, the House of the Ferocious Swan. With his influence and your might, we shall rid Lincolnshire of the ruffians who plague this land, once and for all. We are going to see your father, Humboldt. That's all. Indeed, Eivor. With speed and purpose, you are the axle to my wheel, the spark to my tinder. Humboldt, your father's ill, and your enemies have every advantage under the sun. Do you have a plan, or have I come all this way to watch you drink this watery piss? Of course, my friend. I am a man of action above all else, ready to leap and dance and fight. Listen, I've come to escort you to your father's side. We go now, or I walk. Ah, yes, to Lincoln! Away! But with care. The road between here and there is teeming with brigands who wish me dead. You daft lump of lard! A single Dane will not protect you against the whole of Mercia's army. I think you're wrong, Alvgar. And here he'll prove it. I'm hot for a fight, Snowdog. Give me half a chance, I'll stove your heathen face right in! All right, a quick brawl to get familiar with the local dregs. Won't think twice about it. <laughs> Nothing welcomes us more into the day than a swift bruising. Is this what it means to be your friend? Bye. 
fault. Don't wonder. Lord, give me strength. Clear out, all of you, before you kick up a fire. Jesus, my bones are aching. Could you use a dip in the sea? Shut your hinge, chill. And stop dripping blood in my hall. Told Hunwald to stay near. Where did he wander off to? Be remembered for years to come. Alfgar, we have won our first great victory. Humboldt, are you hurt? Never better, I. We should get to Lincoln as quickly as we can. Yes, yes, you're right. Let's depart. What horrible souls are hunting me? Me, the son of a beloved elderman. to believe my status as a nobleman held some sway over the chairals and serfs of this shire. What cause have any to dishonor me? Look, boats there! We could sail the waters to Lincoln, sink the ships of any enemies in our way. What were you told when the guards exiled you? Oh, scraps of nonsense. I woke to screaming. A man grabbed me, said I was an immediate danger to my father. Ha! Horse! Okay. Mercian soldiers then shackled me, rode me blindfolded to the river Wash, and told me plainly, start anew elsewhere or face death in Lincolnshire. What did they mean? Oh, some nonsense about me praying for his death, hungry for his inheritance. Speak plainly, Humboldt. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. You hold no grudge against your father? No, never. No. I suspect the order for my exile came from on high. Perhaps one of Burgred's final orders before he was deposed. That would surprise me. Burgred was battling Danes until the end. Yet bigger things to worry over. Perhaps you're right, he's too contained. It must have been King Alfred then. King Alfred of Wessex? That's another kingdom entirely. Yes, but Alfred has a fearful hatred of the Danes. He must have heard that I am courting one. A beauty who knows no equal. Your Dane lady love. Right. No! <laughs> yeah! Here's Lincoln. The city of my birth, the cauldron of my present sorrows. No! Won't be gentle if they spot me. Mercian guards everywhere. Right behind you, Shadow Wall. Follow me. My heart beats like the drums of your dragon boat.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. This town was your home? It was, and should still be. Oh, to see it now fills my eyes with tears. Save weeping for prayers. We're not inside yet. One day I won't have to skulk around. Must be blocked from the other side. Hunwald! Praise God, you live! I do, my dear Reagan hair. Body and soul. Tell my father his son has returned and in fighting form. It is urgent I speak with him. I'm sorry, Lord, but your father has been taken. Taken? When? Weeks ago, Lord. And well ill he was when they carried him off. I wish I could say more. Have you looked for him? Oh, I dare not go asking after him, for fear of stepping above my caste. But he'll be in good hands, don't you worry. Up there with the abbess and her sisters and all. He still has friends in Lincoln. That's a good sign. Bishop Herivrith among them. He's kept a vigil at the town hall, looking after things in your father's absence until he returns. Will we find trouble there? At the town hall? You mean soldiers and the like? Aye. There have been many, many more about since your father took his leave. Right. We'll find a quiet way in if we can. Who was that fellow? <sighs> Reagan Hare? He's an old fixture of my family's. He helps run the place, and he's known me since I was but a little... A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Oh, how can a place I once called home look so alien to me now? So harsh and unwanting. Fear not, Lincoln. I'll make you You're mine again. You're <laughs> A simple fellow, but worth every pinch of his salt. Oh, 
I should be cautious around here. Union for your relief. Flayot, Mongro, work with me. No. Out. Shoot. Shoot. I need your eyes, my friend. We should on lava, no. Lincoln seems a good place. Yes, it must be. The market is flush. Well, we goods. never wanted for anything in my father's home. and forewarning of your return to avoid the violence that dogs you. Lives might have been spared. Why so surprised to see my return, Bishop? Was I rumored dead? Oh, worse than dead. It is my reluctant duty to report the rumor that you were lost in the north, bedding a Dane on some squalid farm. I'm not the Dane he's been plowing, and I don't own a farm. I know you mean well, Bishop, but there's no cause to insult Swanborough's honor. You leave my lady love out of this. Ah, your mystery Dane has a name. Sadly, the people of the Shire will hardly be comforted. Now that you have swelled your father's tolerance for pagans into a sin, I have no patience for insult and rumor. We have come to speak with Lord Hunbeor, that is all. Lord Hunbeor has gone, I'm afraid. He would not say where to, but I'm sure he will return shortly, once the storm has passed. What on earth do you mean by that? What storm? Your father feared for his life, Unwald. In his weakened state, he could not defend himself. Not against a Dane, certainly. How dare you? Eivor is above reproach. See this from my view, Hunwald. You arrive after a strange absence with a hired viking in tow, demanding to see your father. This does not, in my estimation, imply benign intentions. If I meant to murder you, these stones would be slick with your gore already. Such violence. Good heavens! God must have purpose for you pagans in his holy plan, but I confess to utter bafflement. Hunwald, your father was at my hospice for a time, but he left of his own accord, without saying a word. That's all we know. Come, Abbas. We should leave this young lord to his scurrying thoughts. There is nothing more of use we can say to him. Take care, my boy. Stay within these walls where you're safest. I'll have a look around, see what I can learn about your father. 
If my father spent time at the hospice here, the healers who work there may know something. Talk to them if you can. Find out what they know. Humboldt's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Damn it. I need to get on the other side. So be it. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Yes, sir! Look at believe him! Are you the head sister? Please, don't hurt me. These poor souls need me. Calm, sister. Lord Hunwald sent me. He asked me to speak with the people here. Hunwald? That's not a name I expected to hear again. No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. 
And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here. I'll look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. to let those Mercians nobles use our tunnels, if you ask me. What choice do we have? At least this way, they'll leave us be. They killed one of their own. What's to stop them from splitting our skulls as well? Because they fear us, see? No one takes us for fools, you got it. to repair that. you! If 
they see me, this will get messy. These tunnels run deep. Was the ultimate fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Oh. Oh. Ah. Damn it! Best not to draw attention here. More Mercians traipsing across our route. Can't piss from here to Bolingbrock without someone demanding some ungodly. We've got you now. Wait! There was fighting here. About what? Violent struggle between nobles and bandits. Bandits didn't fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the ultimate passed in this way.
I know a lonely door that would love to meet this king. Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the struggle. The elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead. They will attack on sight here. Back. Now! Hey, hold on! <gasps> Cast about this land, my friend. Survey the area, Sunan. I'm on the right track. That keep is well protected.
God's name we are here for. Hun Beor is his own prisoner. prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our Lord Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunvold? You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hunvold deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to, but Hunvald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... Longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I'm a dame, not a cruel griefmonger.
Eivor! What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong, a pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... he... <laughs> oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer. Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son. Do not forget it. Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain, last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Humwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a Shiremoot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your Shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot. But between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an Althing. An assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. I do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot.
Humbioth's death an open secret. Humboldt's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went to console him. I should follow her.